Last season was a doozy, and this season only gets better. I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but whatever you guys are doing, keep it up. Last time, Ladybug lost the miracle box, and now we're getting some actual development between her and Adrian. We start right where we left off. Monarch X Hawk Moth stole the miraculous and is now like a god, but he doesn't have the literal most powerful miraculous yet, and I'm getting tired of him having all these asides with his wife, especially now when it's not morning, he's just gloating. Like, I get it, you're winning. By returning to the past, I'll be able to anticipate their actions and steal their magic jewels when they're at their weakest. You better come up with a good reason why he doesn't just get the miraculous now, because that sounds like a foolproof plan, but I may just be giving him too much credit. Oh, taking the direct approach. Oh, it's just time travel. Hey, Bunnix! Oh, wait, I think I see where this is going. Are you trying to tell me that you've been setting up all this weird time travel stuff throughout all these episodes leading up to Hawk Moth going back in time and so they can go back in time to fight him too? Because that's a lot of forethought, I won't lie. Bunnix is immobilized, so they gotta steal the rabbit miraculous to jump through time, but no, she's got a show chat noir that she trusts him. But also this is all going exactly as we saw while they were on top of that building. They're really making this look like this will all be resolved fast. Hawkmoth doesn't look like he's doing a great job with almighty power. Wait, if they can have two rabbit miraculous, one from the present and one from another point in time, why can't they just go back in time when they were like when they had the miracle box and borrow it and have all the miraculous. And then you can be on the same power level as Hawk Moth. Heck, they'd be even more powerful because you have the ladybug miraculous. I know messing with time can be dangerous, but I don't know, it seems like a big plot hole. <laughs> Using too many miraculous at once is dangerous. Ah, okay, that makes sense, but I still feel like it'd be a good idea to go back in time and get the rest of them. Also, I'm not calling him Monarch. One, because I don't want to confuse anyone, and two, because I am so accustomed to Hawk Moth, it's not changing in my brain. They go so far in the past that they meet Master Fu, and they're doing exactly what I talked about. Okay, this show is good again. You can have two Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. Guys, what the heck? Can we have infinitely repeating quantities of Miraculous? They give Alex the Dog Miraculous, hoping they can get the Rabbit Miraculous from Hawk Moth, and then once they get the Miraculous, Alex will have to keep it so that she can protect it. So we know they're successful. We literally meet the future version of her. That can't happen unless they succeed, so... Yeah. When Ladybug took the Rabbit Miraculous, they have Alex touch it with the Dog Miraculous, so now they both have a link to the Rabbit Miraculous. You could go back to a time before Emily used the damaged Peacock Miraculous. You can save your wife, Gabriel. And that's why we pay you the big bucks. I never would have thought of that. But would Gabriel actually stop fighting Ladybug and Cat Noir once his wife is better? Wait! The reason I never would have thought of that is because it would create a paradox. This is a terrible idea. We actually get to see Emily and Gabriel being normal. Oh look, a gift from Ladybug. And now he's distracted. Dude, just drop the flash drive with the info on how to repair it. What's the worst that can happen? You can just go back and get it. And he's ignoring it. I don't buy it. This is dumb. They get the rabbit miraculous and they get away with it. You are so stupid, Gabriel. I have lost all respect for Gabriel. I get it. He wasn't sure if Ladybug figured out a way to foil his plans. But it's just dropping a flash drive. That sounds like a risk I'd be willing to take. I would take literally every opportunity I could to get her back if I was in his position. This is dumb. You were alone. There was no way they could have known what you were doing. Now Alex is gonna go through time and all that stuff. You know what happens. I don't need to explain it. Oh, also, they give back the dog miraculous to past foo. Also, Hawk Moth gets put back to the future, so all loose ends are tied up. You have to help me! You had the time miraculous. You could have chosen to save Emily. You could have chosen to save me. That's what I'm saying! Ugh, this guy's back. This guy's whole character is just to nag them. He does literally nothing, but at least he realizes he's useless. Next on the list is Felix, who they deduce had to have worked with Hawk Moth. <laughs> this 
I've been told my banana seesaw is awesome too. I don't want to be a model anymore. Fine, if that's what you want. Huh? That was easy. And then Adrian starts pouring his heart out to Marinette. So like, is he starting to realize he has feelings for her? Bro, you can't go straight for a kiss. You haven't even asked her out. What are you doing? I know your relationship is weird right now, but don't just force that on her. They literally create a 3D model of Adrian so he can still model. You better be getting royalties for them using your likeness. Does Adrian have a lawyer? He needs a lawyer. Gabriel manages to make these hyper futuristic rings, but what doesn't what he doesn't tell people is that it has some of the powers of the miraculous in them. And so everyone who buys one will always have one of the powers of the miraculous if they get akumatized, which explains why there's rings in the intro now. Gabriel commands the Kwamis to tell him where the ladybug lives, and they tell him to follow the smell of croissants, which doesn't really narrow it down. This is Paris. He figures out Marinette is involved, but he doesn't understand that Marinette is Ladybug. He just thinks she's involved with Ladybug and that there's a scavenger hunt to find out where she lives. And it's a whole thing. It's weird. Point is, he doesn't know Marinette is Ladybug. I don't know what's happening, to be honest. All this really establishes that the Kwamis are magically restricted from telling Hawk Moth the identity of the holder. Skipping over useless details, they trap Hawk Moth in order to get back Back the Miraculous, but he forces Cat Noir to cataclysm him so that they can't hold him hostage. He straight up just takes the bullet. And now, well, who knows what's gonna happen to him? Will Adrian see that his dad is hurt where he cataclysmed him and connect the fact that and figure out the Gabriel is Hawk Moth. Also, this show has a lot of thought out plans and traps. That is like the second biggest draw of this whole show. How do they come up with all this? I think it's kind of weird how you can just demolish a super powerful magical artifact. Wouldn't they have a super resistance to being destroyed? Don't get me wrong, cool idea, but I feel like keeping them from being destroyed would be the first thing they would work on. Okay, Etsy artists, we have new merch that you need to make. Get on to making those miraculous rings, I know you can. I am waiting, I want a full set. Real metal, I, I will pay out the butt for it. Marinette gets one of those fancy rings that she borrows from a friend, so this may be good or bad. She has, she sort of has a miraculous, doesn't she? Oh, sorry. So clean, you've covered 135 kilometers in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's very bad. That's a problem. Okay. Honestly, they could have just, they could have done this if they just started selling phones. They already track our location at all times, even if you turn off location on your phone, they still track your location. Making a ring makes it seem like it's just extra work. I get it. He's able to give his akumatized victims extra power, but still. Also, can we appreciate all these cool effects they animated? Did the budget go up? Okay, not only that, I can't get over how there's so many times where I think of something and the show delivers on it. It's like the writers are, I don't know, competent? We get Cat Noir and Ladybug kissing, but it was in a shared dream sequence, so it sort of counts? I'm gonna say it sort of counts. They both wanted it. It was both of them in that dream. It wasn't just one person. Also, Cat Noir almost goes off the deep end and nearly cataclysms him out of anger. So it looks like they're going to be keep playing into Cat Noir being more unstable like he was in season four. It's supposed to show us our deepest desires, isn't it? Monarch must have altered it somehow to trick us. It would be totally super weird, wouldn't it? What I can't get over is that Natalie said that Gabriel doesn't deserve her help and for some reason is still working for him. I guess that paycheck is worth dealing with him. Also, Nino tells them that he told Adrian that he was Carapace, and so now they all know they're involved. Gabriel uses an illusion to make them think that Hawk Moth sends the powers of the miraculous via a lightning bolt, I guess? Doesn't make sense, but Okay, they bought it. Then we find out Nino invited her to be part of the condiment comrades, so we know it's going to be bad. They got a mole in their ranks. You're going to ask Marinette out because you obviously have feelings for her. Kagami is best character confirmed. Well, I mean, together, <laughs> we came together. You guys came together? That's a first. We get a lot more of Marinette not wanting to be with Adrian, but also does want to, and Adrian is actually flirting with the idea of being with Marinette, but he's being met with a lot of pushback from her. It's a lot. 
But Ladybug is getting feelings for Cat Noir, and now everything is flipped. Oh my goodness, it's the same problem, just different. Ever since we've been alone again without the other superheroes, I've seen you differently. My feelings for you have... Wow, this would have been nice two seasons ago! Honestly, it feels like seasons two and three are just bleh. Skip seasons two and three and go straight to seasons one and four. This is the development we've been craving. I'm a complete sucker. I know this isn't going to actually work out. It's interesting, but the writers just want to keep the same complicated love dynamics and they just figured out a new way to keep it. It's too late anyway. I can't give up now. Oh, that's why he's being super nice. He's next to death. What's funny is that the situation can fix itself if they do nothing. Shadow Hawkmoth will just die and Adrian will be sad, but hey, Paris will be safe. Natalie decides, screw Gabriel, she's going to get the miraculous. So now we have an anti-hero sort of character. I like what they're doing with Natalie. This is awesome. And also they just casually drop that she's been a third wheel to Gabriel and Emily this whole time. So that sucks. Dang, she really deserves better. When Natalie is akumatized, she becomes cyber goth. Gabriel. Listen to me, you chose the blonde bimbo, who's also really smart and intelligent, okay, she's not really a bimbo, but you chose her over the business goth that transforms into a vampire cyber goth. All I'm saying is, you must really love Emily, like, wow. Here, please stop following me. I'm not even an influencer! If you're famous, then you're an influencer, whether you like it or not, it comes with the territory. Heck. Fictional famous people are influencers. If I see an, an, a commercial with Ladybug telling me to buy a product, I suddenly want to buy that product. It's that simple. I know it's called something else, but I don't care. They are real to me! Our two miraculous combined can grant any wish. We could fix everything that's wrong with the world. For every one thing we fixed, another would be destroyed. Well then what's the point of having them then? It'd be better to just destroy the miraculous. Do the miraculous need to exist then? Are these things like natural forces that need to exist? No, because Gabriel literally destroyed them and reforged them. You can just keep them destroyed and scatter them in the wind. How would anybody get them? Someone comment whether or not this is a plot hole or or, or not. Did they explain this? Am I just being dumb? I hope they, this, they explain this in the movie. Bro, are you seriously using an iPod Touch? Let's just rip a page straight from Avatar The Last Airbender and have it to where Marinette can talk to previous Miraculous holders. That'd be neat, wouldn't it? And she's going to ask them about their love life and if they had problems with love like her. Wow, what a great use of this power. Understandably, Jean d'Arc is upset because it's dumb. Also because Jean fell in love with another Miraculous holder and apparently there's drama there. Marinette and Cat Noir start getting touchy-feely until Cat Noir realizes Marinette is just a fan in his eyes, and he's taking advantage of her being a fan. So, just like all proper famous people, he vows not to date a fan. Th then Marinette almost gets akumatized, which makes her realize that this relationship dynamic also won't work, you idiot. We knew it wouldn't last, but still, it's a bummer that Marinette can't catch a break. If only Luca was still in the picture. So they agree to love each other as friends. Okay, show's over. They don't get together and they just remain work buddies. Everything interesting about this show is gone now. What you loved once, you can love again. That means Marinette could fall for me again someday. The cycle will never stop! I cannot wait to see more of this season. But negative, what are you doing? That was only the first nine episodes. Yeah, because Zagtoons is releasing all this at a snail's pace, cause they hate us. Or maybe it's Disney Channel, whatever. Or maybe it's Thomas, I don't know. You see, I decided that instead of waiting for the entire season to release, I'm just gonna make it into multiple parts so that you get more content and I don't have to have my partner's head blow off trying to keep spoilers from me, even though I told them that they could tell me, but I can tell they're holding back. Not only that, but Miraculous is like actually good now. And I really wanna watch it and freak out about stuff with my partner, so this is the compromise. And we have a whole movie, a theatrical release 
to look forward to, that of which, of course, I'm going to be covering on my channel, so stick around for that. Oh my gosh, we're going to get a big influx of fans soon. Oh my gosh, the fandom's going to grow. Let me know how you feel about the new, weird dynamic that's in this season. I like it. And I also don't, but then again, a big aspect of the show is lovingly hate watching it. This fandom is weird. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a Patreon with stickers and stuff. Stay beautiful and keep playing.